Hello everyone, Norma Woodcock speaking to you from Perth in Western Australia. I'd like to speak into the feast, our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe, Year B, Christ the King. And the theme, Thy Kingdom Come. In the Gospel of John 18, 33 to 37, Jesus was asked, Pilate asked him, Are you the King of the Jews? Pilate asked. Jesus replied, Yes, I am a king. I was born for this, to bear witness to the truth. And all who are on the side of truth listen to my voice. So he is king of the universe and he is king of our lives and he has the power and the willingness to bring us to the fullness of our destiny and acknowledging that amazing kingship of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, what do we want most out of life? I guess we want so much to have peace and have contentment and to feel a sense of being loved and of being able to love. I remember I heard about a movie writer and he said he began with the last scene in a movie and he worked backwards over many scenes that led to that point. And 40 years ago, in, in, in the imaginative prayer that God has granted me the privilege of experiencing, 40 years ago, I remember with my eyes closed, pondering Jesus coming again on a cloud, and it was like the power of my imagination just took over, and I think God used it, and it was Jesus coming on the cloud. And it was interesting because as he put his hand out to me to step on the cloud, and as I stepped up on that cloud and turned around and, and faced what I would say would be the camera, I, Norma, could see myself there and my eyes were whole. They were clear. It was like I was seeing the end scene of my life. Because can I tell you that my eyes were not whole and they were not clear, they were troubled. They were constantly bewildered, they were in shadow. My eyes showed the trauma of my early years, my journey, my eyes and my face just just took on so much stress and so much tension because of the difficulties I've had to walk through. But can I tell you, when I think back to that moment, it was like Jesus was saying to me, here's the end result, Norma. And I, I cannot ever forget that image of my eyes being whole and healed and content. In reality, they were not that, but now they are more like that. And so I guess what I want to say to you today is he will come again and, and he will take us to be with him. But while we are waiting, let the kingship of Jesus bring about transformation for you. And no matter how you feel right now, there is the end scene in your story. No matter how bad things are for you now in your life situation and in your own sense of self, that is not the end of your story. There will be other scenes of growth and other scenes of healing and other scenes of transformation so that eventually, like me, in this particular story, you will be able to one day look at yourself in the mirror and go, I don't know how you did this, Jesus, but you did it. And that, I believe, is the faith that I can bring to these video sessions because as my Jesuit director said to me many, many years ago when he knew my story in its fullness, if God can heal you, Norma, he can heal anyone. And if you are that anyone, you're going to be healed. As long as you give him the opportunity, give him the yes to work in your life. So I'd like to finish this video on this lovely feast of Christ the King by asking you to close your eyes and I would like to pray with you. Just imagine now Jesus is right there and he has his hand on your shoulder just connect with him. Lord Jesus, this person that you are touching, I pray that you will bring about in their lives what you have brought about in mine, that you will bring peace where there is turmoil, you bring love where there is hatred, you'll bring relaxation and peace where there is stress and strife. Gradually, Lord, move them as you have moved me into a place where in ever greater ways I can experience your love and your healing for this person let the next step begin because of your love for them and my prayer for them in this moment. And I give you thanks, Lord Jesus. Now, if you'd like to open your eyes, 
I look forward to one day seeing you perhaps in person, maybe in heaven. But right now, I look forward to working with you on a regular basis, if you will let me. So God bless you. May you have a great week as you prepare for Advent. Thank you for listening. God bless you.